Why did you pick this machine, Liam? We needed an upgrade. Our, our current machine, or the, the existing machine we had, was only two axis. Um, we were getting more and more work that you know, was needing little bits and pieces, little bits of milling operations on it, which was tying up our CNC mills for too long. So we were looking around trying to find um, a machine with, with live tooling. Um, we were really happy with the service that we got from Dugard on, on the previous acquisition that we'd had. So we were looking at their laves and this one seemed to tick all the boxes. Great, so that's great to hear, great uh, investment for you. It come with everything included, didn't it? So yeah. talk to me about what chuck you've got on there, what live tooling you've got on there, because that's what makes the process of an engineering yeah. story. So we've got a Heimbuch um, collet chuck on there that came you know, with the price. So we've got multiple collet sizes we can put in there, which allows us to hold up to 65 mil diameter bar. We've got a bar puller on there as well, to instead of a bar feed, so it will come in and pull out the bar individually. Uh, the live tooling, we've got three radial and three axial live toolings um, to allow us to do, you know, side milling and face milling. Um, to any capability really. So it sounds like this lathe's an all-rounder for you as a company. So what parts are going to be put on here? Are you doing specific parts? Is there a lot of the same parts that are going to be run on this machine? Um, yes and no. So we're a subcontract company, so we do varied work. Um, our batches are up to sort of 200 is a big batch for us. Um, so it's just a bit of everything really. There's no one product that we bought it for. It was just to help our production go quicker. So when the machine got dropped off, how yeah. quick was it up and running? Because I know Dugard are really good for dropping it off and being up and running really yeah, quickly. Within 24 hours. The lorry was here one day, dropped this one off, took the old one away. Next day, engineer turned up to commission it and I was running by the end of that day. And that's what you want, don't you? You want to get the machine up and running as quickly as possible. One thing I want to talk about as well is the Siemens control. How yeah. are you getting on with that with the machine? Is it easy to use? Yeah, 100%. I love the Siemens control. I used the Siemens control years ago on my first CNC machine. Um, and so it was like returning home for me uh, with going from our you know previous machine, which was Fanuc, to this. It's just so easy. You can't you can't really go wrong as long as you put all the right figures in. Um, it's so communication, um, everything on it is just really easy. Touch screen, nice big touch screen, soft key buttons, you know, it's all, all there. So it sounds like a really good investment for you as a customer. You're really, really happy with it. Yep. Um, another thing I want to talk about is the parts catcher. How yeah. much of a benefit is that to you? Yeah, massive, massive. Like you say, um, I, I'll be honest, it doesn't work every time, but, <laughs> but when it does work, it really helps on, on a production run. You know, you put a metre of material in, tell it to do 50 parts, and then you can just, you're not scrambling around in the bottom of the machine or losing them in the conveyor. They're all just there, ready to go. So, brand new machine, was the investment worth it? 